guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me my name is Janet today I'm going to take you through uh, the most luxurious brands in the world it's among the famous and most common it's called Louis Vuitton so let's see Louis Vuitton is famous in making classy handbags belts perfumes and so much more Let's learn more about the man behind the prestigious brand Louis Vuitton. In the 19th century, in 1821, Louis Vuitton was born in Anchai, France, to a farmer and hat maker. During that time, France was recovering from a Napoleonic wars and was facing poverty. When Louis turned 10, life became even more difficult. His mother passed away and later his father, Xavier Vuitton, remarried. The lady that the father remarried made Louis Vuitton's life very miserable, and eventually he had enough. After Louis turned 13, he decided to slip away. Fortunately, Louis did odd jobs to keep him going. In 1854, Louis was among the top metal box makers and came up with ideas that changed the industry's standards. In 1867, Louis invented handbags. At that time, handbags were not embraced by the society. Many people complained that they were inelegant, bulky, and that would cause injuries to women. Still, Louis believed that handbags had potential and started making them with canvas. They immediately took off and created the demand for more styles so that women could repair them with different outfits. Eventually, Louis could not keep up and asked for help from his son, George. Like his father, George came up with new ideas that changed the industry's standards. The family's products even became more desirable, but soon after production, after production it came to a halt. A war erupted and destroyed the business, making Louis homeless for the second time. At the height of Louis's business, Franco-Prussian War erupted. Louis and his family were forced to leave their home and headed to the city. There they lived in cracked shelters among other refugees and food became so scarce that the Vuittons nearly starved to death. When the war ended in 1871, Louis returned home. He was devastated to find that his materials were stolen and his workshop destroyed. Using his little savings, Louis wasted no time in rebuilding his workshop and finding, finding a new shop location. Within months of reopening, business was thriving again and orders came in from all over the world. Louis felt the need to try new and bolder ideas. In 1885, he received many international orders that he opened a shop in London. From then on, Louis was the only designer whose products could be found from the homes of the elite and to the homes of the exotic rainforests. Unfortunately, in 1892, Louis Vuitton passed away at the age of 72. The cause of his death remains unknown. It was now up to George to take on his father's unfinished plans. He wasted no time in growing the business and traveled to the U.S. to attend the World Fair. The experience made him realize that he needed an international sales network. And fortunately for him, he met John Wanamaker that was willing to help him. John pioneered the concept of the department store and invented the prize tag. After meeting George, he started selling LV in his New York department store. He became the first in the U.S. to carry the brand. It was then in 1896 that George created a monogram in the memory of his father, a floral pattern with an interlocking L and V. Customers were shocked on seeing the monogram on the products. They were used to embellishing their own names or initials on bags. But eventually times changed and the new design took off. From then, George and his son Gaston continued to follow Louis' footsteps and created new designs. 
In 1936, history repeated itself. George Witton passed away, leaving Gaston to complete Louis' unfinished plans alone. Later in 1946, Gaston passed the business to his sons, Henry, Jax, and Claude. With their father's guidance, the sons ensured new levels of growth each year. In 1970, Gaston passed away and business stagnated. In 1997, LV hired a designer named Mark Jacobs to be their creative designer. He collaborated with high-profile artists, starting with Steven Sprouse and Takashi Murakami. Since then, LV has expanded to watches, belts, jewelry, sunglasses, and perfumes, and continues to launch iconic bags. Today, LV ranks as the, number, as the world's number one luxury brand in the world. This is the story of a humble, homeless teenager who laid the foundation of a billion-dollar empire, Louis Vuitton. That's all about Louis Vuitton. And from the story, you can see, in every success story, there is always a story behind it. So in the next video, I'll give you a review about the Louis Vuitton perfumes. Thank you so much for joining me. For the returning subscribers, I really appreciate you. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Remember to share and like. Till the next video, bye-bye.